back at the house of Diane Gray, and we're going to run the alarm test on Diane. The reason we're going to run the alarm test here is because the last time her alarm was tested was in 2014, last year. She does have a basement which is susceptible to a backup because her sink drain overflow is lower than the overflow of the grinder pump. So we filled up her tub here, which is a fairly standard tub, uh, to the overflow level, which is about 25 gallons. You can hear that she's got a running drain. That's something you would like to get fixed because, um, well, it's not critical, but... It's brand new. Is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like households with grinder pumps that have leaky drains because it's putting water in your pump that you don't want. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go down now, and uh, I'm going to turn off the electrical service for her grinder pump. Uh, and Diane's going to, when she hears my uh, voice, she will let the water down. But we're not going to let the water down until I turn off. Let's see, where was that panel? Here it is, over here. Okay. Okay, here it is. It's uh, sewer pump is 18 and 20. There's these 30 amp breakers right here ganged. That's fine. I'm going to turn them off. Now, there's no electricity for a grinder pump. Okay, Diane, go ahead and let the water out. Go ahead. Now she's going to let the water down. That's going to put 25 gallons into her tank. Is your, is your mother home right now? Yes. Well, what we'd like is to make sure that she doesn't use any water during this period of time. So, I don't know. Do you think she might be doing that? No. Okay. I mean, a small amount wouldn't be a big deal, but if she was running a washing machine? Oh, God, no. no or something? Okay. Now, uh, we're going to wait a few minutes for all that water to drain down into the grinder pump. And um, that's going to... That's going to go higher than the alarm level, if we've measured it out correctly. It'll go higher than the alarm level. And um, after that water is completely filled in, what I'm going to do is go back in and turn on the circuit breakers. And that should cause your alarm to go off. So that's going to, it's, we have to wait a few minutes here for all that water to drain down. So let's just take a look over at your panel. Uh, Diane's system went in, I think, quite a long time ago. Might have been 98 or? Yeah. yeah. So she's got, this is one of the older systems. She's got the battery backup, and I'm going to guess that this battery backup is not functional. Um, if it is functional, then when the water hits the alarm level, this light will actually go on. But uh, any system that's this old, I do not expect the battery backup to be working. Really? Yeah. And uh, did they, when they... Did they tell you it was working when they tested it? Do you have any idea? Oh, okay, fine. Probably my neighbor, it they replaced his, so I assume it was working. Okay, well, we'll find out. I haven't heard of them replacing any of the battery backups. Oh, but I could be wrong. There might have been something else that they replaced. No, no, that's a custom unit. It was designed just for Chelmsford. Generally speaking, all the components in there are, are not, you can't order them uh, because they were only specifically made when these were installed in Chelmsford. So normally they're not repairing these. When these are, okay, look it. But yours, it did go off. Now that tells you that the water has hit the alarm level. So that's very good, actually. You've but how got some. It's not making a noise. Uh, because there's no power for the main alarm. So, oh, so basically. Oh, so you turn it on. Yeah, this is the first pass that I've seen on a battery backup system. So now I'm going to go turn on your circuit breakers and the regular alarm should go off. I'm just going to sit here? Yeah, you just sit there. Uh, <laughs> All right, that, that's. Uh, let's that's see. Why you're here. I got to. And then your then your your regular alarm will go. Off. Oh, hold on! I gotta get down into the basement again. That water is still going. Okay, here's our electrical panel. We're gonna turn the wall on. Okay, the electricity is on. And there it is. <laughs> it's, it's not actually that loud, uh, considering that you've got the highway and maybe somebody mowing the lawn. <laughs> your neighbor, the dog away thinking it was scary. Your neighbors yeah. probably wouldn't you know, actually be able to hear this from here um, with everything else going on. But OK, so this is a successful test. Your alarm's working, and your battery backup is working, too. So. That's fantastic. Now this will probably go off 
probably in about a minute because it has to pump all that extra water that we put in yep. and it has to get it below the alarm level. That usually takes about two minutes. Now, if this were an actual emergency and yeah. my pump failed, how do I shut that off? Okay, if you want to shut it off, yep. the silence button is right there. Go ahead and push on it. What are you doing? Up. Yep, push it up. There you ah! go. Now you've... But the light's The light on. is still there, so you know that there's an alarm. So, if you don't want to uh, disturb your neighbors, and the alarm's gone off, and you're waiting, you can silence it. Yep. And then you can check uh, for the light. The light is telling you that there's still a high water condition. And so that would stay on until, until the, they came. Exactly. Okay. Uh, unless the high water but condition... today, it'll go off. It's, are we hoping it will? Uh, yeah. <laughs> because... In other words, to pass the test successfully, but almost certainly it will because we know that your pump's running. This oh, is really just a test for the alarm. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank but, you but, so much. But we'll wait until the um, until your lights go off. So well, may, maybe, maybe they, uh, I have to say, the, the, I would have to say the battery in your battery backup has at least been replaced. Because I've never heard of a battery that could, couldn't possibly last that long. Right. I'm pretty sure Mark said mine passed, but they had to replace the battery. Oh, okay. Maybe but they did replace they the battery. They didn't tell me. Would it say on my... Okay. Um, no, I, probably not, but okay. but uh, I would check. Did you ask for a report? No, I did not. Okay, well, uh, that would be something that I'd be interested in. Uh, people Who that, do I call to ask for that report? Uh, the, uh, call the sewer department, Sharon, at the sewer department, Sharon Boyer. Okay. And tell them that you're interested in a report. And it might, you know, it might say something, but it might not. But I'd like to see it and have it on record. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, when you do this test, you'd actually be able to tell whether your main alarm is working, and in your case, you'd be able to actually test whether or not your battery backup system is still working. Yay, my house. Yeah, shut okay. that off. Now, why aren't the lights going out? Uh, it's probably just the timing thing, because of the amount of water that we put in. Your tub could have held a little bit more than normal. So it's just taking longer to yeah. evacuate? It, it, yeah, it'll pump uh, approximately 10 gallons per minute. But you have an older pump, and your pump might actually be pumping at a lower rate. Like you'd have, You could have a pump that's actually pumping 5 gallons per minute, and then to pump out the extra 20 gallons or so, because we put in about 25 gallons, right. that's at about an extra 20. It might have to pump out about 20 extra gallons. That could take two minutes with a pump that's pumping at 10 gallons per minute, but it could take four minutes for a pump that's only pumping at five gallons per minute. And when you're waiting, it seems like it's already been long enough. It seems that way, but when you actually look at the timer on the, on the, on the video, you, uh, it, it, it helps. It off. It went off at 7.30. So it was probably running for like two to three minutes. I, I can check it when I, oh, when I do it. Thanks, it, was, it is one of the longer videos. This but helps. Uh, but anyway, it's so an alarm good. test. Uh, Diane's good for another year. Yeah.